And in the 1940s, many adventurous musicians wanted to express themselves in ways that were more subtle than the way they could express themselves in a style called bebop. The style they created was called cool jazz because it was a direct reaction to the hot, excitable, aggressive bebop style. Now, they expressed themselves using a different kind of sensitivity. Now, Jimmy, uh, the kind of sensitivity that um, this kind of music called for uh, required some special attention to the brass instruments. Well, one of the things that was very important about it was the fact that instrumentalists played very, very smooth in this style. And to play smooth means that you play in a style called legato. And it takes a lot of air, takes a lot of breath control to do that. And you don't have a lot of space to take breath. So that's one of the main things about uh, this style. So you have to hold notes a long time and really just string them together. How do you do that? Show me. Now that's called boplicity, and it's a tune that was very popular and one of the best tunes uh, to demonstrate the uh, kind of music we're trying to play. Now uh, the harmonies, though the harmonies uh, that were being used were similar to the harmonies played in earlier styles of jazz like bebop, they were played with more rhythmic subtlety like this. Check these harmonies out. Outside of a few mistakes there, it sounded uh, as though uh, the harmonies were kind of clustered, like that. And uh, they were, because many of the, the things that uh, were played, the clusters were um, And you could hear better if I did it that way, perhaps. At any rate, because the music was played so quietly, the drummer frequently used brushes, like this. Now, here's a tune on which he's going to play brushes, and this is a tune that was featured on an album called The Birth of the Cool. In the group that recorded it first was Miles Davis, Jerry Mulligan, and many other jazz musicians known these days primarily as bebop players. They wanted to play their own compositions in a more relaxed style, so uh, although they had their own groups, they frequently came together. They got together on many occasions, and they played uh, a more restrained style of jazz. They developed the cool style of playing and applied the same principle to their own groups. Now, we're going to play uh, the tune that Jimmy was playing the melody to a moment ago, Boplicity, and let's see how that sounds with this quartet.
Thank you. That was called Boplicity. <laughs>